Welcome back to Under the Palms, where we're discussing the season 12 finale. After contemplating leaving San Marie to go back to the UK, D.I. Neville Parker makes his decision with the help of his friends and cracking another case. To chat all about it, we're joined by Death in Paradise's very own Chantal Jackson. Chantal, welcome to our Under the Palms finale. Thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. I have been seeing everywhere on social media that Series 12 has been the best season yet. And I agree. I've I've loved it so much. As someone relatively new to the show, how does that feel? That it's just like, you're on season 12 and yet people are like, this is this is the best storyline that the, the show's done. You know what? I'm always so critical of myself and um, my performance. And as you said, I'm very new to the show. Taj and Ralph, they've been there, Don and Elizabeth, very seasonal, they've been there for a while. And so it's finding that chemistry and making for making sure, sorry, that we have that balance. And so to hear that, oh, this is the best season and that's something that I'm a part of. And I'm like, oh, am I getting it right? Am I being around? Am I giving the audience what they want? And to hear that it's the best news, I just really have to give it to the writers. Um, and to the producers and to all the departments who have supported us through this entire series and who will be supporting us in the next series. I really have to give kudos to them. How was it reading those scripts? Because it's, it's, it's really, really different from her previous series. I know. We're so excited. Um, so Jimmy and I, Jimmy Huda, who plays Darlene, we start this thing where we'll do like a table read. Um, and so wh- when we get the skips, the scripts, sorry, I'll run up to her villa and we'll have a bottle of wine and some crisps or whatever. And she, okay, and we start reading and we're going through it and we're like, oh, oh. and then because episode six and seven, they're connected. So we, we got both scripts together and we're reading them and we're like, wow, this is actually really cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember going to work. When I finished it the next day, I said, Ralph, did you read episode six? And he didn't really ask that you should read it. This is a really good episode for you. You need to read this. You know, you have a lot of work to do, but we're very excited. Chantal, I can't believe that you were the one that told Ralph that he had this story like that. It's so funny. And yeah, because he didn't read it yet. And I went to work. I was like, did you read the episode? And he was like, no, I didn't read it. I said, you did <laughs> <laughs> how how did he react when he did read it? He's like, oh, I'm going to prison. Oh, no, no. He loved it. He was like, yeah, I really like it. I really like it. I was like, I told you, this is for you. This episode is for you. And so, even leading up to um last week and the week before, on his social media, he was saying, guys, you really don't want to miss what's coming. You don't want to miss what's coming because we all knew it was really, really good. And you know, even just. Um, what we were recording, supporting the character. It was very it was very emotional for us, you know. Um so we were very happy to do it. We we're so happy that Don, um, the commissioner was able to step in more and you see him defending his officer and um, you know, just his police force. And it was it was beautiful to see because they have this kind of love hate relationship, you know. But of course, he knows he's a good cop and he does his job well. So seeing him step up for him and us just step, uh, you know, raising the bar and supporting our officer, it was really lovely. It was we had a really, really good time. That free scene, oh my gosh, so good. loved it, so good, loved it. I, I love that. I love the scene as well where he is like, yeah, and he's he's trying to work out which one of you it was. Like, how did yeah. that work? Did you just yeah. that? in my head? You just stood there really still. <laughs> Literally, literally, and you know that was several takes, right, from different angles. No, so each <laughs> each time we had to go. Okay, so I was like, "What did I do with this hand? What did I do? What do I do here?" You know. Um, but we were so excited to do it because we've never done anything like that before. Well, not since I've been there. Um, and so it was so lovely, and it was exciting for the cast us doing it, but then the crew. Because, of course, you have a crew show and they come in and they say, oh, this is what they're doing. Everyone ju- was just so excited to be a part of it and just make it look as epic as possible. And, of, of course, Ralph did a phenomenal job. And I love that no one quite got the Sophie. Um, the, the, yeah. Sophie. And the people thought maybe she was involved somehow, but no one got the whole thing, which I love. 
because it does it, it all yeah. makes sense it's all so, all so well but it's like yeah it's such a cool yeah. um conclusion to that story whereas the finale um obviously which has just aired is like it's kind of the aftermath for 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 neville isn't it it's like he's so down now like i think like in the episode it really shows how the dynamic is that he's a bit hapless and the rest of you have to sort of like because he because uh, I feel like you really brought down the team that he was down as well. Did you did you build that in the last yeah. episode? Yeah, because also he was coming out of the Florence relationship, right? Um, which yeah, which really broke his heart. I mean, he has this ship on his desk, which is really sentimental. And of course, I'm sure he wasn't trying to get back into to a relationship or anything intimate with anyone so quickly. But Sophie was so good, you know. Chelsea, Chelsea was really good. You know what I mean? Um, we liked her. No, we we really liked her. So even while we're filming and we're reading the scripts, we're like, oh, no, she what? No. <laughs> um. So yeah, but you know, I really enjoyed the last scene of um the last episode when we kind of went on the beach and we sat with him it was really lovely you know showing that camaraderie we're here with you we're here for you no matter what you we are we have you and we'll never give up on you you know so i was happy that we had that well it's so 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 obviously um yeah i think it is those friendships that eventually and the fact that he knows that he can solve cases and you know he's he's back on call that means that he's staying on the island so he's not going anywhere as far as we know um so how because obviously reading the scripts it must have been like is ralph going or is Is he he going yeah Yeah. so so how was it it's like yes he stayed this is great we're happy that we were able to have his back and figure out what exactly was happening. And then, of course, to have our inspector back. You know, we love our inspector and we'll always respect his decision. If he wants to go, he can go. If he wants to stay, he'll stay. We'll respect whatever decision he makes. But of course, us and the fans, of course, love Neville. And so we're happy that he will be back. Yeah. Ralph is really your detective as well, isn't he? Because he's the one that's been there the whole time and you've been there. Like, I can't, yeah, it must be yeah. kind of like, you can't really picture not having him at the, in the, yeah. in the show. It'd be a proper adjustment to someone else. It'd be a proper adjustment. But, I mean, at this point, I'm very comfortable in the series. I'm a bit seasoned in the series. So I'm a bit more prepared for when that happens, if I will also be there when that happens. But yeah, we love Neville. We've we've um, developed a working relationship, um, and you know we know how to work with each other and work around each other, and so it's lovely. I'm glad he was able to come back at the end, and I'm sure everyone else is happy because people are working out. Is this his exit? Is he leaving? Come in, go. You know. So I wanted to ask about the old paradise as well because obviously. That is premiering the same that that today for the finale. And yeah. um, so have you yeah. watched it yet? Are you going to watch it? What do you think? I'm definitely going to watch it. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm going to watch it tomorrow for sure. But I'm so excited, of course. It's your sister series. So of course we knew it was coming out. Chris Marshall is so amazing. He's a wonderful human being. And so um I was very excited that he was coming back. He was also a fan favorite. So, of course, people are excited to see him back. Um, we need to hear what you feel about it. You need to recommend it coming back for a second season if you think it's deserving, which I know it is. Um, but, you know, I'm just very happy that our show was so impactful that they had to do a spin off of it. So kudos to Death in Paradise and Red Planet. So cool. And actually, speaking of fan favorites as well, obviously in the finale, there is a mention of Camille and Camille's going to have a baby and um, Catherine's going to yes. be a grandmother. I mean, would you, yes. would you, would you like to see um, those characters come back onto Death the Paradise as well? Absolutely. You know, I love Josephine. I love her. I love her. I couldn't even, I couldn't even say goodbye. On I was like, leave me alone. I'll talk to you later. Don't talk to me right now. I have to work. Um, so I love to see characters come back, fan favorites. You know, you always want to see them in specials or 
coming back for an episode or two. Um, it keeps the 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 fans excited, you know. So if they come back, I'll be obviously very happy to to be a part of whatever they're part of. They're the originals. I'm very new. Um, so it'll be lovely to have them back. Thank you so much for joining us for our Under the Palms finale. Don't forget to like and subscribe and head over to hellomagazine.com for more news on Death in Paradise. Bye. Thank you.